welcome to the project demonstration of three phase transmission line fault identification along with alerting uh, by using arduino and uh, think speak to upload the data of fault notifications along with smoke sensor so here in this version we have added the extra smoke sensor along with think speak data monitoring so this data can be accessed from anywhere in the world so the think speak uh, data will be uploaded to the uh, through this ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and smoke in terms of PPM that's parts per million these two are added extra in this model so one first of all is uh, like open circuits for R, Y, B and the next line to ground fault from this switchboard so it's a line to ground fault so whenever the like uh, short circuit occurred inside this board then it is indicated as a line to ground at 2, 4, 6, 8 kilometers in the transmission same for the line to line fault there's a R, Y or uh, or b or by so these are the faults will be identified and the same status continuously displayed on the 16 by 2 lcd screen as well as if any abnormality detected from these faults then automatically the system will of the respective phases so that will be represented in the r y b phases and that will be controlled through these three electromagnetic relays and the whole system getting power supply from this 230 volts ac input cable to this regulated power supply board and parallelly same 230 volts ac distributed to this loads through this electromagnetic relays so the output of this regulated power supply board is 5 volt so as it has a uh, four stages so transformation to step down the 230 volts ac to 12 volts of ac rectification to convert the ac to pulsating dc and filtration to remove the pulses and to get the constant dc of 12 volts and the operating voltage of our controller and uh, input output models is 5 volt for other purpose we need to regulate that 12 volts dc to 5 volts dc once we provided the 5 volts dc to this breadboards so two breadboards we are using to show, distribute the 5 volts power supply throughout the modules so while the transmission if in real time we will transmit to the volts so to measure that uh, voltage drops we need to convert that ac to dc and that should be below the 5 volts only because the operating voltage of our you know is uh, 5 volt so for that purpose we are making use of this switchboards directly after the 5 volts given to this one whenever the short circuit occurred based on this uh, resistance value drop so we are using the resistance of 10 kilo ohm for every 2 2 kilometers of distance on the line to ground fault also and line to line so all our 10 kilo ohms are connected in series so whenever the short circuit occurred the so called voltage drops and predefinedly we, we will measure that voltage drop and approximately the distance will be displayed on the LCD screen and the same will be uploaded to the ThinkSpeak tool platform for open circuits just, just to inform the where the circuit got opened in uh, uh, high transmission lines so when you log into that you can do the two channels so as we need to upload the uh, more number of data to things speak per channel the limitation is only eight uh, sensors data so that's why we are uh, we created the two channels so line to line and line to ground one channel and open circuits and smoke details in another channel so let us go with line to line and line to ground so these are the previous data we have collected while we are testing that so we can see that it's going to be the R, Y at the distance the fault occurred we can see that that R, Y at 4 kilometers like that for a Y, B and B, R and R, G nothing but uh, red phase ground fault Y phase ground fault and B phase ground fault so these are the uh, like uh, data was loaded and when you want to erase this data you need to get the fresh data so before erasing that you can download that for that data uh, import exports download the data it will get open in excel sheet so it consists of date and time on how many samples till now we have collected so around 650 samples we have collected from this line to line ground fault and field 1 as we discussed R Y uh, B R B B Y B Y and uh, B R. So like this, uh, we have captured the data. So you can see the four kilometers, six kilometers, like this. And after you download the data, you can erase that. For that, go to channel settings. In that, only do clear channel. So once got, uh, channel got cleared now you can go to private view the previous data will be erased so only access these settings don't access any other settings otherwise the system uh, may not work properly to upload the data to the thing speak 
so after that if you want to change the channel again my channels and in that go to open and smoke same here also so we got this open circuit fault so here will show the only one or zero zero is normal one is a fault same for the r y b and this was the smoke in ppm right okay same here also download the data so you can see that here same data same number of entries till now we have collected and next r circuit y circuit b circuit uh, open circuit false and uh, smoke in ppm so coming to the abnormal ratings for the smoke also if the smoke ppm is above 100 parts per million then uh, the system will provide the audible alerts now go to channel settings clear channel so check twice before doing that and private view now stay on this screen before on the kit we need to on the hotspot and configure the hotspot to project 5568 and password should be 12345678 and the band should be 2.4 gigahertz after configuration on the hotspots along with data on the hotspot along with data and stay on the thing speak screen and on the power supply to this So once uh, everything was normal, buzzer will uh, stop beeps and we need to reset that. For resetting purpose, there we can see the reset switch right here. So we can see one device is connected in your mobile phone. So one device is connected. Right. After this confirmation, you can stay on the screen. And now everything is normal the system on the LEDs uh, sorry bulbs and uh, beep is normal and uh, whenever the fault occur let us see line to line fault so you can see that so YB at 4 kilometers and 2 kilometers and the system is uploading the data to that for every 15 seconds duration the system will upload the data to the ThingSpeak cloud platform we can see the data is coming now okay and for the normal just reset the switch press and release that white color switch the system will come starting onwards so if showing the blank screen just reset that again and again or else off and on the power supply okay so this is the r and g fault y and ground fault right okay And we can see the open circuit fault also. Right, so also we'll scan that. So B, Y, and R. Cut color. Right. So we can see the. My channels while scrolling in your normal mobile phone view, don't uh, touch on this blue bar between below that, in between the below bar and uh, normal graph, you can scroll so you can see that. to see for smoke so when it crosses the smoke alert crosses this seconds uh, 100 ppm then as indication of this smoke detector from the so called section the all the phases will be off so when the smoke detects so threshold value is 100 ppm